RoofCell is a direct lay GRP system by Curit. It can be applied directly to various roof substrates. Before installing a roof cell roof, prepare the roof by removing stones and chippings from existing surface and brush away debris. Remove any old felt from roof edges and along walls if not using overlay trims. Fix battens along the roof edge for trims. Double batten for drip edge trims. Apply PU adhesive along battens. Fix trims to the deck using clout nails. The roof cell OLB 300 trim can be used to encapsulate the existing roof edge to save removing roof edges. Use a D260 or D300 or a trim from the AT trim range for step details and parapet walls. Remember to overlap trims by 50 millimeters. The AT195 external trim can be used for capping step details. Apply PU adhesive along the bottom edge to secure to the trim and clout nails to secure to the deck. Once trims have been fitted, reinforcement mat can be rolled out for the roof area. Remember to overlap the matting by 50 millimeters on the feathered edge side. Roll up the matting for later use. Bandage is required along trim edges and trim joins. Apply roof cell base coat with the required amount of hardener to the bandage and dress over trim joins and corners. Apply roof cell base coat to the area where the trim edge and roof meet. Cover with bandage and apply another roller of base coat. It is important to paddle roll the bandage. Follow this process for detail work on the roof, including pipe details. Use a brush to work in the wet bandage for a neat finish. Using a mixing bucket, mix the required amount of hardener with the roof cell base coat and apply using a roller. Check work the ready one meter for square different areas. substrates. Apply the reinforcement mat to the wet out area and then apply a coat of roof cell base coat to the mat. Continue this process, working one square meter at a time. A second person should follow behind and consolidate the mat using a paddle roller. The feathered edge side of the reinforcement mat should overlap the straight edge side of each row by 50 millimeters. Use four rollers full of roof cell base coat per square meter when applying it to the reinforcement mat. Download the Curit app or visit the roof cell website for the materials ready reckoner. Continue with this method of working. Apply base coat, reinforcement mat, base coat and then paddle roll. Working in one meter square areas until the entire roof area is complete. Paddle rolling is important as it removes trapped air from the mat and draws the roof cell base coat through the fibers in the matting, resulting in a smoother, pinhole free surface. Apply one roller full of roof cell base coat mixed with the required amount of hardener as a wash coat over the roof surface.
Once the laminate is dry, remove excess bandage from trim joins using a Stanley knife and sand down corner using 40 grit sandpaper. Remove any imperfections on the roof for a smoother finish and sand the surface using 40 grit sandpaper. Chase out the wall using a grinder for the simulated lead flashing. Clean the roof surface using acetone. Prepare a small amount of roof cell top coat with hardener and apply to the trim areas using a brush or small roller. Fix the simulated lead flashing into place using PU trim adhesive. Seal with lead mate. Apply roof cell top coat mixed with the required amount of hardener to the roof. Roof cell is compatible with Curit products. Roof cell can be applied to a range of substrates, including smooth felt, rough felt, asphalt concrete and GRP. Scan the QR code on your mobile to view the roof cell installation guide.